What to do, y'all? I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I'm technically on a YouTube break, so like, I don't really have pressure to upload this. But I kind of felt like I wanted to film. But, I don't know, like, I don't want to upload anything per se. But I feel like I want to read. And maybe it's because I'm watching so much YouTube right now. I'm almost done with my watch later list. But I want to read. <coughs> so, it is actually Friday the 28th. So... Maybe I'll make a weekend reading vlog. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe. Ooh. I was. I kind of. Hmm. Well, I have to make a TBR-ish. I don't want to make a full TBR. And here's why. So. I have not been able to stick to TBRs. Like, I look at them and I'm like, oh, I want to read that. But then I also want to read that. And I also want to read that. And then I can't, like, stick to it. <laughs> and also, waiting for audiobooks has been a big shortcoming of mine this month. <coughs> so I've been waiting for Map of Days for, like, the entire month. And see... For the entire month, it said I have two weeks left. So what I'm wondering is if somebody suspended their hold. Which means that they keep moving up in line, but they don't actually, like, it. their hold on it isn't active. And I looked on my library and it turns out you can suspend a hold for up to 180 days. Let's hope that's not the case, but um, yeah, so what I want to, what I'm thinking, March is reading month. So I wanted to make a TBR and like maybe try to go back to my reading schedule so I can like power through some books for March, uh, cause March is reading month, yeah. But like, I don't want to make a TBR. Like I know that there's a select number of books that I actually really want to get to. And I want to pick, like, a book or two out of my, um, wrapping pile. <sighs> but that seems like so much work to make an entire TBR. And then an entire schedule. And I know, like, TBRs help me stay on track for reading. But then I don't do them. So it's like, what's the point? See, this is why I'm taking a break. A, because, you know, there's stuff going on in my life. And then B, it's because I feel like I'm in such a rut with my reading right now. Like, I read a couple good books and I'm like, yeah, I don't know what to do now. So I have a couple books here that are kind of on my radar. They're both really easy reads, so that's kind of why I'm gravitating towards them. So the first one I kind of really want to read is... She Just Wants to Forget by R.H. Sand, which is a poetry collection. I could probably finish this tonight if I tried, or maybe between tonight and tomorrow. I don't know. But I also have Love and Under, Love and Under Words by Christina Lauren. I would really like to finish this between by the end of February, just to like round my... um round my wrap up to five books instead of four and i mean like it's an adult romance so like it should go faster because like the rest of my books almost on my remaining february tbr which is <laughs> most of them is all like mostly high fantasy I don't know, like, I've just been getting a lot of headaches lately, and I have not been reading. Like, every single thing I've read this month has been an audiobook. And because I don't have any more audiobooks, I have not been reading. And it's because, like, I work so much that I feel like the only time I can read is if I'm listening to an audiobook at work. 
Because then when I get home, I'm like, ooh, I want to... I want to lay down and watch YouTube with my cat, aka tonight, or ooh, I want to catch up on this show, or ooh, I want to watch this movie, or ooh, I want to start this show. And it's like, reading has been virtually impossible for me this month. And it's bothering me, because like, I actually do want to read, I just can't. So that's my dilemma. I don't even know where I was going on that tangent. But like there are a select couple books that I do want to read for March. But I'm just kind of undecided if I want to make a TBR and a reading schedule or not. I kind of do want to make a reading schedule. But at the same time it's just like so much work. But it might finally get some books off of my TBR. Like I just don't know. I don't know why I started this, but maybe it's because I want to read and I feel like starting a vlog makes me do it. Oh my gosh, throw back to when I started Tower of Dawn and there were so many characters that I couldn't keep track of it, so I wrote them all down. I think I really, really overestimate myself sometimes. Because you see... You know, it's not as bad as I thought, okay? It's really not. I thought that, like, I had this entire list of books from, um, my February TBR that I just didn't finish and I'm terrible for it. But in reality, it's only, like, five books. Excluding Monstrous and excluding Song of Achilles. Monstrous, I still kind of want to get to and I don't think it would take me that long. So maybe today or maybe tomorrow, I don't Maybe during this vlog? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, do we realize how much I'm putting on my shoulders? Maybe I can find this on audio. What a concept. I basically work alone tomorrow. And then, if I was able to finish a book, I could read a poetry collection. This could work. So, basically, <clears throat> so far... My March reading list consists of, like, eight, like, seven physical books. And maybe eight physical books. And, um, actually more, probably. Because, um, I have two audiobooks, maybe, maybe more. Um, and, uh, I'm planning to unwrap, like, one, maybe two books for my TBR, which I might actually do right now if I can find the will to get up because I'm really warm and comfortable right now. Um, and then I have poetry because I do, I have a stack of poetry like this big that I impulsively bought and never got around to, which I really want to get around to. And just to make myself struggle more, why not bring back annotating my Sarah J Mass books well? <laughs> what am I doing with life? See, this is what happens when I watch BookTube is because I see all of these people reading and enjoying the things that they're reading or just reading even if they're not enjoying the things that they're reading. And I'm like, oh my god, they're reading. Even if they're not liking it, at least they're reading. Let's go find some books, shall we? I kind of want to unwrap a book just to ease my stress a little bit. So let's do it. So since I've already forgotten what each wrapping paper means. Sequels of Snowflakes, Mystery Horror Thriller, Santa, Contemporary Snowmen, Fantasy Snowman. What if we do a sequel and a contemporary? That's a concept, right? Where do I be? Where do I be? I'm just gonna come back. Mm, nah. This is a paper and a contemporary. This is a hardcover contemporary. I have no idea what this could be. 
This is a paper bag. Hardcover. I have no idea what these are. Um, let's pick a... Do I have any short sequels? No. So let's just pick the one closest to the top. It's a hardcover. I don't know what it is. So that's our sequel. Oh, this is intense. What is this? I don't know what that is. And we're going to pick this contemporary, I guess. Okay, retreat back to comfort it is. Okay, y'all, are we ready to see what I'm about to unwrap? I'm gonna give myself rejecting power. Like, I will try my hardest to read these, but if I'm not feeling them, I will either unhaul or do in like a second chance wrapping paper. I have no idea what some of these could be. What sequels would I have to wrap? We're gonna do the contemporary first. What is it? Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Really? That's insane. Oh no. Now there's tape on here because this cover is too glossy. Now I hate myself. You know what? I've been being told for a really long time to read this, so I will give it a shot, but I cannot make any promises that I will enjoy it, or that I will be able to get through it, or that I will get to it. <laughs> Honestly, if we're... Which, let's hope I do, because this book does not like being wrapped. I fangirl. Okay. Honestly, I forgot that I even had that book here, so that really took me off guard. Sequel. I have no idea what the sequel is. This is Rick Riordan. Guys, tell me, is it? It is. I can feel how matte the cover is. Oh, it's not. It's a Rick Riordan Presents. I don't know if I should be mad because the tape is strong. Or, like, be mad that it is strong. Because technically it's just doing its job. But it's ruining my books and the process. Oh, I should probably tell you what the book is. It's Irish on the Song of Death by Roshni Chakshi, which is book two. Book two? Yeah, book two. Um, I did like book one. And I think this is available on audio through my library. So, that's great because the more audiobooks, the better. Because that just strengthens my chance to have a decent wrap up so let's let's jot that down i lost my pen because it blends into the bed freaking mint right. okay i wonder what the other sequels are then that's crazy <clears throat> okay a fangirl Hi, Savannah. Are you going to sing them the song of your people? Hello. 
say hello, heathen. Oh, you have to be full potato log. Look at the pretty girl. There she goes. There she goes again. Okay. Maybe I can find both of those on audio. Who knows, but... I still don't even know what's happening with this video, guys. But basically, it's like 7 o'clock at night. Something crazy like that. I'm going to be really sad if it's later than that. Turns out I'm really sad because it's almost 8 o'clock. <sighs> I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, I have a funny work story for you, okay? So the first one isn't really that funny because it actually made me really mad. So it was like 2 something, like 2.15, right? I was in my last 45 minutes of working and I decided to bring out some chunk cheese. And these were like the 16 ounce, one pound ones. So 12 blocks of cheese come in one case. So I had about six boxes, which is what? 72 blocks of cheese <clears throat> on my way out of the cooler oh this is painful to talk about okay my cart snagged the edge of the cooler and literally every single box of cheese flew off my cart like literally flew into the middle of the deli and that's not even all. Like, literally every single block of cheese that was in those boxes flew out too. Don't tell me how it happened. I have no idea. But everything flew out. And <clears throat> the deli girls just basically stared at me. They didn't try to help me pick up 72 boxes of cheese boxes they didn't yeah whatever um they were basically just criticizing me and looking at me like i was crazy so and then as i was trying to pick up my cheese the one girl was trying to like run over my cheese with her cart so instead of helping me she was actually literally like trying to run me over and run my cheese over with her cart and that really pissed me off so i was already about to lose my marbles and then I'm going to my section to do something. Oh, I was going to check chicken. And I was talking to my mom's coworker. And then my one of my other co coworkers, one of my coworkers, um, asked me if I had a certain product in the freezer. French bread. They wanted French bread. This customer did. And I know the customer. My mom knows the customer. And we do have French bread. They're like this big and they come in a plastic bag and it's an entire loaf of bread. Like a round piece of bread. It's not sliced. So I bring out like three loaves because people always ask for them. So I'm like, okay, well, if he takes one, I'll put the rest of them in the freezer. Okay. So I get back out there. And I hold one up and I'm like, this is what we got. The bread flew out of the package. Literally like the bottom busted open. I held it up and the bread went out the bottom. So I picked it up and I tried to shove it back in the bag and hold it up again. And it fell through the other side, smashed on the ground again, and then broke in half. I wish I could make this up. I was so embarrassed because literally the store was crowded i was literally in the middle of the store in full camera view so my boss saw the entire thing and i took the entire loaf of bread and threw it in the trash 
I was so mortified that I was just like, okay, shoved it in the trash. And I, he's like, yeah, I don't think I would, I would take that one. But if you have another one, I, I think I will take it. And I'll just remember to hold it from the side. And that's my embarrassment for the evening. I've just been talking to you guys and rambling for quite some time. But, um, if I ever decide to post this... Y'all, I did it! I am on a roll. So today, I just got back from work. It is 3.20 on February 29th. Happy Leap Year. Happy Leap Day. I finished this entire book at work today. <laughs> and this was the book that I unwrapped from my pile. The first unwrapping. This was really, really cute. I don't know what I would give this. I think... Honestly, I think I would probably give this like a four and a half or a five stars. This was really good. I thought it was really cute. And it was like two romances in one because it was like them as teenagers and them as adults like navigating their life. Oh, and there was the anxiety wrap. And can you tell it's been a long day? There was an anxiety wrap and a PTSD wrap and loss and grief and the story was really cute and it's like just about this was really cute yeah so I read almost all of this at work and I just had nine minutes left that I just now finished so yeah I finished that and I'm really excited about it so honestly that was my goal I didn't think I was going to be able to do it but I listened to it on audio and um, basically what I wanted to do was be able to read that on the last day of February to squeeze one more book in and also because I wanted to actually be able to read the book that I unwrapped first um and then I think since this is already done I didn't barely have to read any of it at home I think I'm gonna pick up this tonight and maybe monstrous it's not like I have all that much to do tonight. All I have to do is do my chores and take a shower. And that's basically it. So, yeah. It's beautiful outside. Probably gonna go and open up the barn. Come back in. Read this. And yeah. Oh! I forgot. I am so on a roll because last night, I was up really late last night talking to my sister. And um, I made a complete reading schedule for March. So, yeah. Basically, it's going to be two books a week. And that's all of the physical books I'm really going to put on myself for March. Um, like big books. And then whenever I can fit them in, I'm going to pick up like a poetry collection. Like a small poetry book like that. And I also have a couple audiobooks. Um, I couldn't find Fangirl on audio, but I did find Arusha and the Song of Death on audio. So I'm going to be starting this tomorrow. Um, and this is the first book, or this is the, this is the second book that I picked. No, well, technically. This is the third book I've unwrapped. Fangirl was the second and Love and... What is this book called? Love in Other Words was the first. So, yeah. Quite frankly, I'm impressed with myself. This is only 365 pages. So I don't think I'm going to have too hard of a time. Because this was longer. This was 400 and something pages. 407 pages. No. 403 pages. This was so cute. Oh. Christina Lauren. Man, those two. Immaculate. I love their books. Yay. What did you do, y'all? 
So it's 6.42 on Sunday, March 1st. Happy March, everyone. So, last night didn't go completely as planned. I was planning to read Monstrous and a Poetry Collection. But in reality, we sat down and watched a movie at dinner time. And basically, that didn't happen because then I went out and did chores and did Jake a shopper. So, I was in good time. But if I were to finish them, like, today, I would still count them for February. But any day after today, they would go on the March wrap up. But I do have some exciting news. Um, I originally only had Arusha, Arusha on audio, but when I went to go make sure it was downloaded, Map of Days appeared on my shelf. So, I have two audiobooks to listen to. And I'm kind of sad because I really because I just wanted to get through Arusha. But now it's like mm, map of days though. But yeah. If you couldn't tell, I'm running late to work. I don't really care though, because it's a Sunday. And it's not like anything's due at 7 anyways, like meat count. And I'm working alone. And Sundays are like our slowest days. So I'm not all that worried about it. But yeah. I figured I would end up pop in. I figured I would pop in and tell you guys that today while I'm working, we will have two audiobooks. And it'll be a grand old time. Also, some point in this vlog, we're going to have to go over my February wrap-up and March TBR. Even though you guys basically know it's going to be on my March TBR. Hey guys, so it is 5.13 on Sunday, March 1st. So I just got home a couple minutes ago. Um, I got out of work at 2.45, but my grandma picked me up and took me out for dinner. Um, honestly guys, I will be completely truthful with you. This week has been kicking my ass in the worst way. And that's part of the reason I took my break, but it's so hard for me to stay away because it's like I want to be reading and when I read I feel like I have to document it because like I want to. It's like I'm finally making reading progress and I want you guys to know. So um, this week has been one thing after the next. This has been like the longest week ever, I swear. From last Sunday to, the, to this Sunday, it's been a complete whirlwind of absolute crap. And my anxiety has been in, through the roof this week. Like, I have been getting no sleep. And I've been so anxious this whole entire week. My anxiety has not been this bad since, like, the last time I took a break in August. It's just been completely unmanageable. And honestly, I'm feeling really defeated lately. <clears throat> um, I haven't been sleeping well. I haven't been eating well. I've been exhausted all the time. And then my anxiety and my panic attacks will come out of nowhere. And it's like... <sighs> I just want to be able to get my life together. And for things to calm down long enough for me to breathe. And... Honestly, mental health has been such a struggle lately with all the things that 
my family is going through and it sucks and i hope this upcoming week will be better uh but on a later note i finished the book today so i started arusha and the song of death by roshani chakshi today and i just finished it a couple minutes ago i thought this was super cute i think i'm not actually sure um i can't recall 100 percent what happened in the first book like because there's so much that goes on in these books. Um, but I think that I would give this like a 4.5 star. This was really, really good. Um, but then again, I do have some trouble like um, keeping the mythology uh, connected and who is who and all that. So I guess just the magic system and the mythology behind it is kind of lost on me. Um, but I thought it was super cute. There's a lot of good messages. It's There's so much comedic relief. But at the same time, there's so much adventure that keeps my... Um, I'm sorry, Carrot is being very rude and rattling her water bottle as I'm trying to talk to you guys. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a great read. I'm glad that I read it. And this is actually the first book I read in March. And it is the first... Uh, another one of the books that I unwrapped. So, so far we are two for two for books that I unwrapped. I have finished, I don't even want to know what that was. Um, but so far out of the three books I've unwrapped, I have already finished two of them. So pretty happy about that. Um, I think, um, yeah, so I do have uh, some some reading to do tonight for my um, reading schedule, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's like 130 pages total. It's just 65 of Capturing the Devil and 65 of Ninth House. Um, I'm a little bit nervous for this first week on the reading schedule because I didn't really think this through all that well, and I picked two really intimidating books for me, like they're the two largest books on my February TBR, uh, aside from Sorcery of Thorns. And I don't have either one of them on audio. And what got me through Sorcery of Thorns is that I picked it up on audio. So I'm kind of nervous to see how I'm going to get through them. But I guess uh, we'll see. Hey, y'all. So it is currently 6... 57 or 47 I can't remember what it said but I figured that now I'm gonna go over my wrap-up in my TBR and instead of collecting all the books that I might read I just want this to be a low-key thing because I wasn't even gonna do a TBR and a wrap-up but I don't know I just so I'm not gonna grab all the books and show them to you because most of these things you guys have heard of and they've been on other TBR videos but <clears throat> Let's go over my February wrap-up. So I had 10 books on my list for February. And I was able to complete 5 books in the month of February. All of them were 5 stars. And all of them were audiobooks. So the first book I read was Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. That was a reread for me. I should mention that I had 2 new reads and 3 rereads. Um... Then the next book I read was Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, which I gave 5 out of 5 stars as well. Uh, honestly, rereading the Miss Peregrine series again was probably better than the first time I read them because I felt like I had a bigger understanding of what was happening and the plot as a whole. So definitely happy that I read reread those and I did it to prepare for the new the second half of the the new trilogy that is basically the second half of the whole series. Yeah, you get it. Then I read Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, which was a new read for me. And I really enjoyed that book. And I'm really happy to say that because after hating Enchantment of Ravens, I was really wary going into it. But I thought that the world building was amazing. The characters were very likable and I felt like everything was very well developed and a solid read it was unlike anything i've ever read before 
and I thoroughly enjoyed my time reading it. Next, I read Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. Obviously gave it five out of five stars. And again, um, that was like my favorite reread of that book. That was like my third time reading, maybe fourth time reading that book. And honestly, I think that was my favorite because again, like I was really captivated in the story and I felt like I was picking up on things I didn't before and actually made me realize that Prisoner of Azkaban is one of my favorites of the series, which I feel like is normally pretty underrated because it's one of the only books in the Harry Potter series that doesn't involve Lord Voldemort. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. And then the final book that I read in February was Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. And this was a new read for me. I think this is the only Christina Lauren book on my shelves that I had yet to yet to read and I finally finished it. This was actually the first book that I unwrapped in my TBR unwrapping. Uh, like I wrapped a bunch of books on my TBR and that was the first one I pulled out and I read it and I actually really enjoyed it. I gave it five out of five stars. Um, I honestly just think that it was kind of like two romance stories in one because it was them as teenagers uh, learning to love for the first time and uh, navigating a relationship for the first time as kids and it was like a coming of age and then it also flashes back to now uh like first love first breakup first loss and uh it goes to how things that happen when you're a kid can still stick with you as an adult and how if you're meant to be people will find a way back to each other it also had a ptsd rep and an anxiety rep which i appreciated immensely um and I really enjoyed it. I loved the story. Uh, it felt like a slow burn, but at the same time, it was like a faded romance. And I loved it. It was like a childhood's best friend to uh, lovers. It was a really good story, I'll be honest. So that was my February wrap up. Let's go over into March. I know this isn't the format of um, wrap ups and TBRs that you guys are used to but I just really don't have it in me to do a full like filming setup and to grab all my books because that's like when I think that I have to have a whole setup for something it really discourages me to read it or to film it so I'm just gonna briefly go over everything because I have a feeling that my break might be longer than I anticipated uh like after this vlog I probably won't vlog until next week maybe <sighs> like the week after this upcoming week because it's Sunday I don't think I'll vlog next week but um maybe after next week I'm not sure I just vlogging again has been great uh and things <sighs> I'm just not having a good time right now like I I'm I'm fine vlogging but deep down I think I just need a break <laughs> just me and my books alone to process everything and to um, take some time for myself and not to worry about having to get a video up, which I know I had already announced a break and then I went and filmed this vlog, which was really stupid. But honestly, I think it was a very well needed video because it actually pushed me to read another book for February and to already have finished one of my books for March on the first day of the month and it gave me a reading schedule so maybe on my time off I can really focus on my schedule on my reading schedule rather than worrying about what vlog or what video I need to be editing and uploading along with everything I'm going through right now like I think that just focusing on myself and reading um and my family and friends will be good for me for a little bit so with that whole spiel out of the way Let's get into what I have planned for March. So physical reads, I have eight. Um, there are some that I couldn't find on audio and those are a whole different thing. But the first thing I have is Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. I do have that one right here. Um, and that is the fourth book in the Stalking Jack the River series. That is the fourth and final book. So I've been putting it off for a while now and that's because it's very intimidating to me and I hate it when some of my favorite series end but let's be honest it's gotta be done it's time so next I have 
Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. And this is another book I've been putting off forever because it's so intimidating to me. I want to read it so bad, but I just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. So now I'm finally going to crack down and try to read it. Um, I can't promise that I'll finish it because I do get scared off by books pretty easily. Uh, but yeah. Next, I have Five Dark Fates by Kendar Blake, which again is the fourth and final book in one of my favorite series. So I have been putting that one off for a while too. Um, yeah. I'm not looking forward to the end of so many of my beloved series, but it's just got to be done. <coughs> Next is Unpregnant by... Oh god. Next... We have The Beautiful by Renee Adier, which is another one of my most anticipated releases of 2019 that I, once again, was pretty intimidated by. Uh, I was scared because after DNFing The Flame in the Mist, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it because Wrath and the Dawn is one of my favorite duologies of all time. And then I DNF Flame in the Mist. <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to feel about The Beautiful and I'm putting it off and putting it off because I was afraid that I wouldn't like it. Uh, but it, again, it's time. Next, we have The Silent Patient by... Which lady is... What's the first name? Oh my god, is this gonna keep happening this whole video? Uh, I don't know, but it's an adult thriller, The Silent Patient. Is his name, first name Alex, Mitchell Ladies? I can't remember. But basically, I think it's uh, following a woman who shoots her husband and uh, I think she turns herself in and gets sent to a psych ward where she becomes completely mute and nobody really knows what happens. Yeah. Next, we have Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, which is another adult thriller, which actually I have no idea what it's about whatsoever. <coughs> so I guess that'll be interesting. Um, next we have Scythe by Neil Schusterman, which is a reread for me, but I really want to reread that because I have yet to read Thunder, uh, Thunderhead and The Toll. Um, so I feel like I really need a refresher on that. I don't really remember much of what happened, so I'm going to reread that before I go into the sequels. And then two audiobooks I had planned, which was Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling and Map of Days by Ransom Riggs. Um, I'm rereading, I'm reading Map of Days for the first time, uh, and I'm really excited. So I have that on audio through my library, and I'm going to start that either tomorrow or the next day. And then I'm rereading Goblet of Fire just because I get into these moods where I really want to reread Harry Potter, and it really helps um, my reading flow to have a Harry Potter audiobook, especially at work. And then I unwrapped two books in my TBR unwrapping, which ended up being Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and Arusha and the Song of Death by Roshani Chakshi. Uh, I actually already read Arusha, gave it 4.5 stars, and I listened to that on audio. And yes, I'm going to be reading Fangirl physically. And then I have a couple of poetry collections and graphic novels. And maybe if I have time, I'll try to annotate some of my Sarah J Mass books that I have yet to annotate, but we'll see. Basically what I have planned so far for poetry collections and uh, graphic novels, I really want to get to She Just Wants to Forget by R.H. Sin, which is a poetry collection which I feel like I'm going to resonate a lot with uh, in recent times. And I still really want to read Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. So yeah, I've been wanting to get to this for a while and there's just not been the right time. And along with She Just Wants to Forget, I have a whole entire stack of poetry collections to choose from. I was debating wrapping them up in their own wrapping paper and then just choosing one at random. Because it's so hard for me to decide on one when they have so many pretty covers. And I'm like, oh my god, which one do I choose? They're all so beautiful. So I think I might wrap those up in a cute little turquoise wrapping paper and choose at random. So that is what I have planned for March. It's a lot, honestly, but now that I've broken it down, it's not that bad. Like, I've already finished one of my TBR unwrapping books, and um, I have Map of Days on audio, and Goblet of Fire is going to be here in, like, two weeks or less, actually. And poetry collections are pretty easy. I can usually get them done in a couple of hours. 
The only thing I don't think I might not get to is annotations. I've been wanting to do them for so long, but it's such a tedious process to go back through after you've already read something and then have to go and annotate it because then it's like skim reading the whole thing again, which is basically what it is. Um, so yeah, that is my condensed version of my February wrap up and March TBR. I got really confused because the page that I'm on in my notebook says March wrap up and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just my March stats page. So yeah, now I'm going to get started on reading. Uh, basically right now I am on the first day of my reading schedule, which will consist of reading 65 pages of Capturing the Devil and 65 pages of Ninth House. I just got to say before I pop off here. So I finished my reading of Capturing the Devil and I'm pretty hooked. And I'm eight pages into Ninth House and I literally have no idea what the hell is going on. I am so confused. Like I know I'm only eight pages in but I have no idea what is happening. Yeah, right? Yeah, I know. Like, I have no idea what these places are or what she's doing. I'm just so confused. It's like it just started out of nowhere. Yeah. Are you confused too? Baby. Nana. Are you confused? Yeah. I love you. Are you getting sleepy? Are you getting sleepy on me, Nan? Hey, tell the people what you think about our books. Look. Look. So, yeah, um... I kind of hate to be a Debbie Downer this early in the book, but I would not be that surprised if I DNF this, honestly, because right now I am so thoroughly confused that I have no desire to keep reading this. There's like so many places and so many people being introduced so fast with no explanation or descriptions. Even the prologue, I'm like, what is happening? I'm thoroughly enjoying capturing the devil, but this, uh, yeah, not sure. But yeah, capturing the devil, cute, love it. Thomas and Audrey Rose. Really? Did you just hear that spine crack? Savannah Marie. I'm just gonna plop down on my book and act like nothing's wrong. Where are you going? And you're just gonna flop down again. You're a lazy bum. Okay. Let's. If I can't get past like a page 15 and still not be any less confused. I don't know. I feel like that's, I feel like that's really early to DNF. I feel like only reading to page 15 is really early for DNFing, but I am so confused because so many people and places are being announced with literally no explanation. And I'm really confused. I might have to look at some reviews on Goodreads. To, yeah, to know what people are saying. Nana. Do you see that cat in the camera? Does you? Oh, yeah, say hello. What are you doing? I don't think Savannah wants me to read this book either. 
that's how I feel about it too, Nan. She gets it. She gets it. You know what? Maybe I won't read this book tonight. Maybe I will just edit this vlog and get it up and read a poetry collection because I just don't know about this one, guys. I really don't. I want to read it, but like, I'm bored and confused and it's giving me a headache. So, I might take an L on this one. So, I read some book reviews on Goodreads and it turns out it's not just me being dumb and not being able to understand what's going on. A lot of people are saying the same thing, that the story does not really delve into like uh, character development or anything like that. And that a lot of people, a lot of people that I trust uh, rated this book either very low or DNF'd it. So, for now... For now, I'm not saying that I'm never going to pick it up again in the future. I'm going to have to DNF Ninth House. Which I feel terrible about because I was only on page 8. But literally, I have no idea what's happening. And I felt, I feel like if I waste, not waste, if I try to read more, then I'm just going to get mad. And then I'll feel like I've wasted my time when I could be editing or reading something that I am bound to enjoy. So yeah, for now I'm gonna DNF Ninth House. I might come back to it in the future, but right now I do not have the brain capacity for a complex story like that. Like I just can't do it. My brain is mush. Uh, capturing the Devil, I'm here for it. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem meeting my daily reading quota for this. And I'm not even gonna try to replace Ninth House with a different book because I think that this first week taking it slow and reading one book and some poetry collections is completely fine. So, um, but I think I'm going to leave this here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, mid break crisis vlog. <laughs> uh, yeah, so wish me luck. I am hoping that the next time I talk to you guys, I will be in much more of a positive mindset and that things will be going a little bit better for me and also that I will have some reading updates for you guys. I'm going to try my hardest not to pick up the pick up the camera whenever I uh, read something but ultimately it is pretty hard for me because every time I read something I just want to tell you guys like look I'm not a fraud I can read um, but I'm going to try my best to take some time to myself to breathe for a while um, and I know that it is disappointing but you guys have shown me so much support and i am so thankful for it uh it seriously does warm my heart seeing all of your guys's comments wishing me well and wishing savannah well because we do get lots of savannah love in the comments too who could not love the nanas yeah so yes basically the rest of this is of this night the rest of this night is going to consist of cuddling with nana and or not and reading capturing the devil and ninth house i it is not my goal or intention to finish these tonight i'm just going to be reading 65 pages of each and maybe if there's enough time left in the night if i stop stalling on reading them maybe i can pick up either monstrous or she just wants to forget um We'll just see, but I feel like I'm in a pretty good reading spot right now. I feel like I'm in the mentality to read. I feel like I need to read right now to get my mind off of some things. And I just feel like if I can't control my life, at least I control the way I'm reading. So we're going to try it. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to take a step back, breathe, read some books, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you for watching and thank you for being patient with me. I love you guys.